Hello Lillis, welcome back to my channel guys. Guys, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Make sure you guys are all clicking the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And if you guys want to join the channel box, the membership is $1.99 to join. You do have to be at least 18 years old to be in that channel membership. Um, and anyway, so I have Aspen here. Aspen is the prototype and I kept his name Aspen. So he's the sculpt, Aspen sculpt, sculpted by Claire Teller, painted by me. Um, so it was two prototypes and I, <laughs> news for you guys, just sold the other prototype. I bought that one from Sylvia Creations and I just sold her yesterday. So she will be going home, traveling home very, very soon here. And so I wanted to come on and show my uh, Aspen and get him dressed. I just wanted to come on and tell you guys that I am going to be busy, busy, busy as always, but fun busy because I'm almost, almost done. <laughs> I know y'all tired of hearing me saying that. She's almost done. She's almost done. She's never done. I, I am I'm almost done with my very last um, obligation. And so I will be able to get back to, um, I'll be able to get back to working on my silicone baby Grumpy, which is a full body. I, my intentions is to sell that baby. <laughs> We all know how that goes, <laughs> but that is my intentions as of now. Let's see where I'm gonna get into um, change his clothes. But yeah, so that is my intentions. Listen, we all start out with good intentions. Now, if I fall in love with him and with her and decide that I need to keep the little munchkin for a little bit, then so be it. But for now, the goal is to get her painted rooted and then i will share her with you guys and put her up for sale i won't have any pricing information or anything like that till i see exactly how she turns out oh my gosh i'm so ashy um <laughs> but yeah um one of the things that i think i told y'all this before i don't really try to lotion or anything before i do my videos because i don't want the oils to transfer onto my dolls so you guys are stuck with seeing me just naturally ashy <laughs> Um, so yeah, and I'm also working on two other Aspens that will, well, I'm only working on one, um, at a time, but I will have two available for purchase. And once they're done, I do, um, have one last, um, I don't usually do the first right of refusal, but I do have something like that going on with at least one of the Aspens where um, I did uh, promise a Dolly sis that she will have first right of refusal on one of the Aspens. I guess the first Aspen that I've complete. And then um, after that, it's all fair game and then the second one I don't have no first right of refusal on that one I don't really want to do that because I don't want to it to feel like I'm pressured to finish it hold on sorry um so anyway so I am so I'm working on that I'm working on of course I always be working on other little stuff that I don't always share because some things are best left unsaid <laughs> until completed um so yeah so when i am at a point a sharing point you guys know i'm an overshare and i love to share what i'm working on and i love to share my babies as i finish painting them especially since most of the time i don't root them myself and so I don't get the privilege of popping out with a new baby already rooted unless I just hold it like I have been holding with Lulu. Um, I think maybe two people in the community have actually saw Lulu. Um, and 
I don't unless they betrayed my trust with them and shared it with other people. That's the only people that's ever saw Lulu so far, but she will be seen later. And it's not that she's gonna be so magnificent. So I hope that, <laughs> cause you know, it's like you, you be, you know, you be waiting, like somebody keep talking about this baby, keep talking about this baby. And then you're, you're like, okay, this baby must be gonna be really, really great. And then they show the baby and it's kind of like, girl, what? <laughs> like, did you just have this crap? This, this is what we've been waiting on? Like, you know. So let me see something. See if this put too much light on him. Okay, maybe not. All right. Oh, my girl. Wait, you got, what you got on your face? And I'm sneaking her away from Joey. But this is... <laughs> Say, look at me. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to put her in over here. Actually, I'm going to move him. I put him back on his little... Uh, he has the fall lounger. That's his, his thing. So that's his little bed. He has his own little bed. I love that. I love him up, up against his skin tone. Um, I don't know if the light is like too bright on her or not. But we got a lot of natural light in right now. So, yeah. So, like, when she's in, like, regular, like, light, like, inside the house, her color comes across like it's very yellowy. But it's not like, or I'll say more orangey, but it's not, it's uh, more like what I think you're seeing now. Um, just because I purposely was going for a color with less of that. Um, so I'm trying to fine tune my skin tones. I know I keep saying that, but it's true. I'm really trying to fine tune them to the point of where it's you know not the standard light skin baby if that makes sense um you know it's just a personal goal for me and i think that's why i enjoy what i do so much and i enjoy my hobby so much because i am not spending my time and my days worried about what everybody else is doing and what they're thinking and all that great jazz i am busy the busy <laughs> busy worrying about me and my personal growth within the art within the hobby don't get me wrong just like everybody else at some point i do partake in some of the chitter chatter in the background um you know you all got that one person that you talk to and you might talk about the different dramas that's going on in the community but I prefer not to do that that often mostly my uh, my friend one person that I talk to mostly now every day <laughs> um, our conversation does not consist of drama it's usually not even always about dolls. It's more about books and um, TV shows and uh, health and, you know, stuff like that. Um, so, yeah. So sometimes it's nice when you find somebody that you can connect to um, beyond just the, the hobby, if that makes sense. And um, you just enjoy their company. But I spend a lot of my time trying to compete with myself, if that makes sense. I always challenge myself to do the next baby better than the one before. Or I, I won't even say better than because they'll all have their specialties. But I think I want to do something different or perfect one particular thing or another with them. Um, so that's usually my my thing now she has this little outfit i have to shop for her and i have to shop for like lulu because 
Lulu is um, in 2T, 3T, mainly 2T, um, 24 months, some 18 months. If the way these clothes are cut big now, this is like preemie Carter's, but I don't know if I'm gonna put her on the long sleeve or if I'm gonna put her on the, I'll probably put her on the half top, says little sister. But, um, because she's preemie girl, I have a lot of preemie boy stuff, but I don't have preemie girl stuff. So, look like I am going to have to, uh, shop for her some special clothes. Her and, like I said, Lulu. I bought Joey a... A decent amount of clothes. I'm not worried about him until probably next year. I'll buy him some new stuff. But he has some little outfits. And he has plenty of shoes that he came with. So he has a, a decent wardrobe. But she doesn't really have much. So you guys see her in diaper a lot. But that's okay because I kind of love her in it. And I, I also love her ball. And one of the other things about her that I've grown to love too. Is I really, really love her little heartbeat. Um, when I pick her up, you know, I can feel it like right here, like her, even now, like I can feel it. It's like beating. So when, when I hold her, it makes my heart race <laughs> in a good way. Cause it's like, oh my gosh, like it feels like you holding a breathing baby. So that just takes the realism to a whole nother level. So if you guys, you know, want to put a heartbeat in your baby, Go to Bountiful Baby and get you some heartbeats. And, you know, put you some heartbeats in your cloth body babies. I used to have bodies made specially for my babies with a pocket to hold the heartbeat. I stopped doing it, like I said before, because a customer basically, I felt embarrassed. Maybe that, I'm pretty sure it wasn't their intentions, but they mentioned on video that the, the heart had stopped. And so I didn't like that. So I didn't, I stopped putting them in dolls that I sell. Um, but people that, I had a special request from um, one, one customer because she liked having them in there. And she knows how to take her bodies, you know, take, the, take them apart and, you know, put, change them out once they do, um, the battery goes out on them. And so... That was fine. And then um, Rico mom makes dolls. So she knows how to take it out it, if she needs to. She knows how to take the body, you know, the, the head off and then go in and put it in. So in that case, it doesn't, you know, I think it's okay because they can fix it and not, um, you know, make a big deal about it. So, or not a big deal about it, but you know what I mean? Just say feel like they're stuck with it not working because I can't guarantee how long it will work so but yeah that is my little girl um I really really love her a lot um you know is it when I purchased this babe this particular kit um it was definitely one that I wanted for me um, as I'm downsizing like crazy, I am looking at all the babies and saying, okay, who is going, you know, who is staying? And, um, I haven't even looked at her as one to even ask myself that question yet. So I don't think she's going anywhere. Um, definitely I want to root her myself, but then I want to like, I want her to be like perfectly rooted. So I don't know if I'll go ahead and just send her so that she can have really pretty hair but i would love to finish her off myself so that she would be fully completed by me and she would be like very special um because i don't root vinyl like that i know uh itsy bitsy has has uh hair rooted by me but i didn't i just like i said i just went in to do the front of her hair and it was crazy because this was only like a day's worth and i just Want it, I want it to be able to, you know, sometime not have to have her on a hat. So that's why I did that with her. 
and then I liked the way it looked. Then I said, let me give her a little bit at the top. Then I thought, okay, well, let me do a little bit on the side. Then let me do a little bit on the back. She, she has a little tummy plate too. I love her too. And then it just, you know, it just went from, okay, I'm going to just make it a sparse all the way around. But I want to like really seriously finish um, her. And it's not bad rooting. It's just that I need to go in and fill it in. But I don't even remember which hair I used for her. So I would have to try to match the hair up now at this point. So I don't know. But this little girl, I may just root myself. But I will slowly let you guys know um, who's going to be going for sale. I'm just, I'm, I'm really, 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 really excited for some reason. And I don't, you ever be excited and you don't know why you're excited? Like, why am I so excited about? But we will soon find out because I am on a roll. So I'm going to go. I'm going to do one more video. Put one more baby up here. And I will be done for the day and I'll start my day of work. Later. Oh, and if you guys don't know, this is Marley. Sorry, I didn't say her name. <laughs>